Hello, my name is Robert Attrell, and I am a program officer with the Discovery Grants program at NSERC. And I'd like to welcome you to NSERC's presentation on how to apply for a Discovery Grant at the Notification of Intent to Apply, or NOI, stage. This video is available in both French and English. The application for a Discovery Grant is a two-step process involving a mandatory NOI. First, an NOI must be submitted before the August 1st deadline by 8 p.m. Eastern Time. If August 1st falls on a weekend or holiday, the deadline is 8 p.m. on the following business day. The NOI is submitted directly to NSERC and does not need to go through your institution's research grants office, unlike the full application. Once NSERC has received your NOI, staff and evaluation group members assign each application to a primary evaluation group as a preliminary step. All NOIs are also examined at this time to decide if a joint review with another evaluation group should be considered, and a set of additional external reviewers are identified. These activities all start before you submit the full application, so it is important that you inform NSERC if you anticipate that your full application will be significantly different than your NOI. If your full application includes major changes from the NOI stage, such as a change in research program or in the language of application, please contact the responsible program officer or send an email to the Discovery Grants inbox, resgrant at ncrsng.gc.ca. The full application is due at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on November 1st. Again, if that falls on a weekend or holiday, it will be the following business day at 8 p.m. However, most institutions have deadlines that are much earlier than this, so please make sure to check with your research grants office to find out what the de deadlines are at your institution. Once the full application is received, any required transfers between evaluation groups are done, potential joint reviewers are identified, and a selection of external reviewers can be finalized. Both evaluation group members and external reviewers receive the applications they will review in early December. External reviewers are contacted by NSERC after mid-November, and the preliminary assignment of evaluation group members to each application is finalized at this time. Competition takes place in February, which is when the evaluation group members meet to deliberate and vote on each application. Final results are announced in April. The NOI is a mandatory part of the evaluation process, so if you do not submit an NOI, you cannot submit a full application. NSERC does not return NOIs once they have been submitted, and late NOIs are also not accepted. In addition, once you have submitted your NOI to NSERC, you will not be able to make changes even if the deadline has not yet passed. The NOI includes a summary of the proposal, research topics listed in priority order, up to 10 keywords, and external reviewer suggestions. Applicants may also list exclusions if they have any institutions or researchers that they do not want to review the application. Your Canadian Common CV, also referred to as the CCV, is also required in order to submit the NOI. NSERC only allows contributions from the past six years to be included in the CCV, starting with the January six years earlier than the year the application is being submitted. It should be noted that the NSERC CCV that you submit at the NOI stage can be updated before submission at the full application stage. The NOI facilitates the preliminary assignment of your application to an evaluation group, as well as the assignment of internal and external reviewers to your application. The content of the NOI also gives NSERC an idea of whether your application might need to have a joint review from another evaluation group. A joint review refers to the participation of a member from another evaluation group in the review. This member is responsible for reviewing all submitted application material, and they participate fully in the discussion and voting. The NOI also provides a first opportunity to review the application for subject matter eligibility. It is important to emphasize that the NOI is not used to assess the technical merit of your proposed research, but mainly to identify the most appropriate people to review your application. Here is a list of all evaluation groups. Applications that cross boundaries of EGs, like multidisciplinary or interdisciplinary ones, are reviewed by a combination of members with pertinent experience from relevant groups. The evaluation group suggested by the applicant is usually the closest to the primary research area. If needed, evaluation group members from other EGs are added based on expertise. The decision to hold a joint review will be based on the content of the NOI, consultation with other EGs, and the content of the full application. The Discovery Grant Program is intended to support research in the Natural Sciences and Engineering, or NSE. Interdisciplinary research that is predominantly in, in the NSE is also supported, provided that the significance, impact, and advancement of knowledge or practical applications in the NSE are demonstrated. The primary objective of any research supported by NSERC must be to advance knowledge and training in the NSE. Please consult the science.gc.ca website on guidelines for selecting the appropriate federal granting agency, the first link on this slide, 
if your research might fall within the social sciences and humanities or in the health sciences domain. You should also check the addendum to the guidelines for eligibility of applications related to health, the second link, if your research straddles the boundaries between health and NSE research. The addendum provides concrete examples that will help you understand what kind of health research and CERC supports, as well as guidance on how to frame the research in your proposal. The same proposal cannot be submitted to two federal granting agencies, and applications which are not appropriate for NSERC's mandate will be rejected. Applications submitted to the Discovery Grants Program are reviewed for Subject Matter Eligibility, or SME, at multiple stages. The first review is at the NOI stage and is based on the description of the proposed research. These reviews are conducted by staff and evaluation group members. If an application is flagged for concerns related to subject matter eligibility at the NOI stage, a letter is sent to applicants from NSERC reminding them to consider the guidelines that are linked on this slide. The letter reminds applicants of NSERC's mandate and provides them with the opportunity to review their full application to ensure that the program of research they are proposing fits within NSERC's mandate. If you receive an SME letter from NSERC, it doesn't mean that your research isn't appropriate for NSERC, but rather it's a heads up to help you in preparing your full application. Usually, it means that based on the information that you provided in your NOI, it appears that your research either has health or social science implications in addition to the NSC. Final decisions on subject matter eligibility are made after the full application is received. While these decisions can occur at any stage of the peer review process, as late as February, we try to identify applications with mandate concerns as early as possible in the process. Selecting research topics is an important part of the NOI. The first research topic must be within the evaluation group you have suggested. You may select, in order of relevance, up to four additional research topics as required. The other research topic codes may be used to illustrate that expertise from other disciplines is needed. Evaluation group members and NSERC staff may also use the application summary to identify expertise needed for review and to choose appropriate external reviewers. This summary is different from the summary inserted at the full application stage. The one provided in the full application is used for communication purposes. When you are identifying external reviewers, you should select evaluators with the best expertise to review your application. We also remind applicants to be mindful of conflicts of interest. You must suggest external reviewers from outside your institution. This restriction includes those with adjunct appointments at your institution. In addition, do not suggest any recent collaborators, as there is a six-year window to consider for conflicts. The external reviewers suggested should be able to review your application with confidence. Please also consider diversity in your selection. External reviewers can be national and international, from the public and private sectors, from government and academia, from any underrepresented groups, any gender, and at any career stage. The collection of self-identification data is driven by the Government of Canada's Commitment to Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion, or EDI, in the federal research enterprise. Please note that self-identification information is not shared with members or reviewers. It is collected for the purposes of program operations, including the recruitment of external individuals for merit review processes, and where applicable, planning, performance management, monitoring, evaluation, and audits. It may also be used in aggregate to report to government or to the public. Self-identification information will be reported in a format that ensures protection of the identity of any individual. The user profile in the research portal has a series of questions asking your age and how you self-identify with respect to gender, Indigenous identity, status as a person with a disability, and whether you are a member of a visible minority in Canada. Applicants have the option of selecting I prefer not to answer to all questions. Applicants will be asked these self-identification questions each time they submit an application, and the user profile will be pre-populated with your last responses. You can change your information with each submission. Here are some key contacts for the Discovery Grants program. For any general questions, please send an email to resgrant at ncrsngcca and your email will be forwarded to the appropriate person. As well, please refer to these useful links for the Discovery Grants program in general. Thank you very much.